When using big telescopes to examine the galaxy, billions more stars become visible than the thousands of stars that can be seen with the unaided eye on a clear, moonless night above our heads. Though it dwarfs most objects that are near it, the Sun is actually just average in size. The Milky Way galaxy alone is thought to contain between 100 and 400 billion stars, and when we look even farther to our neighboring galaxies and beyond, we find an unfathomable amount more. The Sun is the closest star to us and appears enormous because it rises and sets every day. How huge is the largest star we have observed so far? How big can stars theoretically grow? What happened to Uiskuti? The universe is home to vastly greater stars that aren't just a tiny bit bigger. They are astonishingly bigger. Kindly click the notification bell and subscribe. Depending on whether mass or total volume is being discussed, the biggest stars in the known cosmos. The most massive stars tend to be fairly unremarkable in terms of sheer size, and the most voluminous stars often contain a lot less matter considering their physical size. As stars age, they tend to lose mass. Mass can be thought of as how much mass matter a star contains, whereas volume is how much space it takes up. This is what the sun is going through as it ages. Eventually, when it has used up all of its nuclear fuel, it will evolve into a bloated red giant that will swallow the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and possibly even Earth. Although this process will make our sun enormous, there are stars out there that are much bigger before we look at the largest, which is named Bat 9998. Absolute Dimensions. Let's examine Bat 99.98 which is currently the largest by mass. This star is thought to have 226 times the mass of the sun, that is, 226 suns worth of materials packed into one. Although the exact mechanism for this star to get so enormous is unknown, scientific models indicate that BAT 9998 is only 7.5 million years old old, making it extremely young when you think of the age of the sun at 4.6 billion years old and that it is also shedding its mass at a rapid rate since its birth models suggest it has lost 20 suns worth of mass. Because of its extreme activity, it is believed that it will eventually end in a catastrophic way that will most likely be a supernova that leaves behind a black hole. However, despite being incredibly massive, Bat 9998 is not even close to being the largest star in the universe in terms of physical size with an estimated radius of 37.5 times that of the Sun. If you search for the name of the largest star in the universe on Google, you will find pages and pages of websites claiming that it is UI Skuati, a red supergiant that was once thought to be the largest star in history. The estimated radius of UB Scuti, which was initially estimated to be around 1700 times the size of the Sun, was found to have been measured incorrectly, significantly altering it to 775 times the size of the sun and knocking it completely off the top spot. The new measurement actually places UB Scuti closer in size to well-known stars like Blears or Antares, still incredibly massive but nowhere near the largest, currently not even making it into the top 80. What about Stevenson 218? a potential red hypergiant star that was thought to be the largest only a few years ago. If it were in our solar system, it would engulf Saturn's orbit, and if you could travel around it at the speed of light, it would take almost 9 hours to complete one loop, whereas it would only take 14.5 hours to complete a trip around the Sun of Stevenson II. According to the stellar evolution theory, there may be a theoretical limit to how big stars can grow. The theory states that a star can grow to a maximum of 1,500 times the radius of the Sun. This could mean that Stevenson Du 18 has been overestimated, possibly because its distance from Earth is uncertain by as much as 50%. Second, some estimates put Stevenson 28 at being 2 the 150 times the radius of the Sun, which, like UI Scuti, would drastically change its estimated size. However, to the best of my knowledge, no precise formula exists that establishes the maximum size that a star can reach, as it depends not only on mass, but also on its composition, evolutionary history, 
and the strength of its stellar wind for potential giant stars. Celebrities like Stevenson 28. The diffuse gas in the outer layers of the atmosphere can theoretically grow and expand indefinitely, but eventually it merges with the interstellar medium and can no longer be considered the stellar atmosphere. Surface, making it difficult to gauge the size of these enormous stars. They are, of course, incredibly massive, thousands to millions of times the volume of the sun, extremely far away and luminous, and, as I just mentioned, often have expansive atmospheres and photospheres that are always changing and are frequently covered in massive clouds of dust, making it extremely difficult to determine their true size. Nevertheless, astronomers try this by utilizing a variety of different factors, such as the distance to a star and its surroundings. By finding these measurements, among other things, they can more or less get estimates that fall within a range of confidence, either smaller or bigger. Thus, based on our best measurements, what is the largest star currently known to exist in the universe? According to the list of largest stars known, the title is currently held by a red supergiant called WG64, which is situated in a nearby satellite galaxy known as the Large Melanic Stellar Evolution, about 160,000 light years away. With an estimated radius of 1,140 times that of the Sun, Cloud WG64 would swallow the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter if it were to replace the Sun in the solar system. The measured radius also agrees well with that theoretical growth limit and is consistent with many other huge red supergiants that can be found elsewhere. WG64 is most likely in the last phases of its stellar evolution. These stars have run out of nuclear fuel, which causes their outer layers to expand and turn into actual cosmic giants. The massive star is also surrounded by a dust cloud in the shape of a torus that is approximately lie in diameter. This cloud is made up of material that the star has ejected, and if it were all collected, it would be enough to make our solar system nine times over. So, have we finally figured out whether or not WG64 is the largest star in the known universe? Most likely not, as other studies have measured this behemoth and had entirely different results. Comparing sizes. Even though Stevenson 2118 may have overestimated its size, one source estimated its radius to be 2,575 times that of the Sun. If this is accurate, the object would easily engulf Saturn's orbit. If one could travel around it at the speed of light, it would take nearly ten and a half hours to complete one loop, whereas light from the sun travels to Pluto in just four hours. It is therefore unclear which star is the largest overall, even though it is evident that the universe is full of some incredibly massive stars at various stages of their evolution. However, astronomers will be able to improve their measurements as long as observational techniques and technology continue to advance. It is therefore unclear which star is the largest overall, even though it is evident that the universe is full of some incredibly massive stars at various stages of their evolution. However, astronomers will be able to improve their measurements as long as observational techniques and technology continue to advance and thus have a lot greater understanding of these cosmic giants. WG64 might be the biggest star ever seen in the universe, but I have a feeling that it won't stay at the top for long. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for viewing, and I'll see you in the next one.